You're the man, buddy. You're the man. All right, good boy. <laughs> this is a trip I look forward to all year long, and I'm especially excited this year because the bird reports are phenomenal. And while we see plenty of birds, this trip ends up being full of challenges and frustrations that I just didn't see coming. The first challenge is the weather. And we get a little bit of everything on this trip, whether it be cold, snow, mud, rain, you name it. And it started as soon as we left home with some seriously frigid temperatures. You add on several inches of snow, and I had my work cut out for me. But I guess that's what you get when you want to check her hunt in January. We arrived in the afternoon, so I only had a couple hours, but I wanted to get out, so I found a spot that I thought would be pretty easy to get into and got CC and Tubbs out for a quick hunt. The snow definitely makes for some difficult hiking. Here we've got our first covey. We've got CC with the point and Tubbs is backing. Wow. I blew two up on that first shot. CC, CC, dead bird. Right when I shoot, two birds have converged and I thought I hit both of them. But as I watched the replay, just one hit the ground. Dead bird, easy, go easy. Easy, buddy. That's really steep right there. Fetch him up, Tubby, dead bird. Good boy, bud, here. Come here, bud. Atta boy. Good job, buddy. Thanks, buddy. Good boy. Right, Lucy. Good dog. Good boy. <laughs> After we put that first covey in the air, it basically stirred up the whole mountainside. Here I've got CC on point down in this nasty draw. This is really steep and the snow and everything makes it impossible to get all the way down to her. Are they down there, baby? I don't know how I can get down there. Are you sure? Cece knows I'm not going down there, so she goes into cocker mode. Wow. Come on, be another one. Damn. Chucker are always quick to laugh at you when you miss. Now I've got tubs on point. Dead bird. Oh. 
Dibbard. Oh God, it's rolling down the hill. Good boy, buddy. Good boy. Good boy. Loose. Good boy. Yeah, I thought they might be. This time of year they get really pretty. All feathered out. Very nice. After the birds get stirred up like this, it can get really difficult to approach them because they're all on high alert. And your best chance of getting them pointed is on singles, like Tubbs does here. CC hates backing. Dear bird, dear bird. Good boy, Tubby. Good boy, buddy. Good job. All right, let's. Good boy. All right. Good job, big man. Well, that was a great little hunt to start the trip. Here we are the next day, and Riggs and I get out in an area that appears to have a bit more snow even than the first spot I was in. And we don't even really get out of sight of the truck before birds are flying, calling, and all stirred up. <laughs> Listen to all these birds. So here I've got Riggs on point just up ahead of me in the draw. But as I'm trying to get to him, birds are coming up all over the place. I know those aren't the ones he's pointing, so I just keep making my way to him. Then his bird gets up wild as I'm sliding down the hill. I thought there was a good chance there might be one left in these rocks, so I just keep making my way through here. Got you one, buddy. Good boy, Riggs. Good boy, big man. Good boy, big man. Right here, bud. Good boy, give, good dog, good boy. Oh, I had to get you one there. Oh man, they've been giving us a slip this morning. So he's been on point two or three times and they just, there's been, I've actually walked some up while he was on point and not the birds he was on. And that just set off a chain reaction and birds start coming up all over the place. So as we go here, we just get more and more wild flushes. And it really is like a chain reaction. One covey sets off another, which sets off another, and further and further away from us. And the birds just get more and more wild. They are up and alert right now. That's for sure. Here's Riggs on point again. And there are birds calling and busting everywhere. It's gotten pretty chaotic. Then as soon as I take one step towards him, I slip and the bird comes up. They're in there too. I think he's got <laughs> God damn it. That's pretty much how this whole day goes. Now he's on point again, just a few minutes later. It would be hard to estimate how many birds I saw on this day. It was a lot. This area holds a lot of birds anyways, but this was a pretty good bird year. And between that and all the snow that was pushing them down to the water, they were just everywhere. Oh my God, they're everywhere, dude. 
Now you would think having all these birds everywhere would be a great thing, and I did get plenty of shooting opportunities, but I really only want to shoot birds that are pointed, and this chaotic atmosphere really isn't great for that. And the other part of that is I've got a young dog out here, and these birds are not making it easy on him. They're flying around, causing chaos, and it's going to make his head come off. Hey, buddy. Hey, hey, hey. Riggs, come here. Come here. Come here. We gotta calm down a little bit, alright? We gotta calm down a little bit. Yeah, we gotta calm down. He's on point right there. He's on point for a while. I can't. I don't think there's any way I'm gonna get there without putting him up. Sure enough, a few seconds later, the bird's bust. Well, you know that phrase, the first time you hunt truckers for fun, every time after that's for revenge. Today's one of those days where that saying came from. It's just been frustrating from the word go. The weather sucked. The sending conditions for some reason suck. There's birds everywhere. None of them will hold for sh <clears throat> They're just busting everywhere. Riggs is doing a great job trying to get them pointed, being careful, and they just keep busting. They just keep busting. Oh, I'm going back to the truck. I don't think I can take it anymore. Well, I get frustrated pretty quickly when I'm not able to reward the dog's good work, but luckily on this day, <laughs> Riggs doesn't get as frustrated as I do, and he just keeps plugging away. So next thing you know, he's on point again, and he's tracking some birds up this hill. Had a boy, bud. Good boy, good boy, Gib. Good boy, good boy. Yeah. We've worked really hard for these today. Plenty of birds, plenty of birds, just very jumpy. The sinning is strangely not great. You'd think with the snow and everything, we'd have pretty good sending conditions. It's just been so-so. But uh, mostly we're just dealing with jumpy birds. Now Riggs is on point up ahead of me in this draw. And as I'm walking in here, some quail start coming up. Boom. I know those aren't his birds, so I just keep walking. After I shoot, I realize those weren't his birds either, but it was still pretty cool to put a quail in the bag. Once again, Riggs is up this hill on this draw on point on a big covey, and once again, I put up a bird that isn't his, but go ahead and shoot it because I want to put a bird down for him. Good boy, buddy. Briggs here. Good boy. Give. Yeah. Good boy. Oof. No, no. Loose. Good boy. We got birds in the bag, but it feels like I've been completely and utterly defeated today. Yeah. We got birds, didn't we? Oops, got little ones and big ones. Yeah, sure did. Given the sheer number of birds I saw on this day, I definitely felt like the chucker won that round. Now we're in another new area. We got some fresh snow on the ground and I've got tubs on point just up ahead of me. God, 
Standing here with a jam gun. Hang on, buddy. Well, that jam gun was operator error. The other day I was hiking in the snow and I fell a ton and, you know, put my gun in the snow and the inside of the works got a lot of snow and moisture in it. And I forgot to oil it when I came back out. It's just, there's rust all over it in there. So <laughs> it's my own fault. I swear it seems like the birds are always uphill. Good boy, buddy. Oh man, good man. Good job, buddy. Good boy. Good boy. Good job, buddy. Whew. Whew. Now Tubbs is on again. And when I get there, I'm able to pinch the birds in between us. So I'm thinking they're in trouble. No freaking way. It's a, probably a dead bird. I have no freaking idea where it went because of this freaking pea soup. Oh, damn. I think I, I hit that bird twice. I, I know I hit it on the first shot, at least nicked it, and then I think I hit it again on the third shot. If I could see farther than my hand in front of my face, I could have watched that bird and we could have pursued it. But I have no idea where it went. I mean, they just, they go about 80, 100 yards and they're in the mist and gone. <laughs> just one more challenge to stack on top of all the others of Hell's Canyon Chucker. Man, I did not expect them to just be sitting here right in this grass. I'm gonna go see where they were here. They were just right here. Oh, they were just tucked in. All right, there's a little pocket where one was. Man, I don't know if they've moved all morning. The birds aren't out doing much. So as always, I'm trying to figure out the best way to approach these birds to stay out of sight as long as possible. And this actually works out great. I'm able to go around the side here, come in from behind. The birds are just off this little ledge here. It's the perfect scenario. Perfect until I miss, of course. I shouldn't be that upset. I mean, you're gonna miss birds and in country like this and in the conditions like this, with it's so slippery and everything. It's just, I felt really ready. <laughs> and then they were really close. And it's like, if you're not gonna hit those, <laughs> then you're gonna have a light bag today. I've said it before, but there's just really nothing quite like shooting in this terrain. It's different than anything I do anywhere else in the country, and it never ceases to amaze me how bad at it I can be. Okay, Tubby's on again here, and this is one of those where he's not really sure where the birds are exactly, but he knows he doesn't want to move forward without me. So, as I move in front of him here, 
he kind of relocates beside me. And as we get closer here, I can see why he wanted to be so cautious. There are tracks everywhere. Good boy, buddy. Good boy. Hey, Luce. Thanks, bud. Good work, buddy. That was excellent work. Good job, buddy. Got more birds in here. We got birds in here. Go easy. Tubby. Tubby. I don't know if we'll get those, but we could try. That's one of the best things about hunting a fresh snow is you get to see all their activity through their tracks. Doesn't make the hiking easier though. The grassy north slopes are the steepest things you can get on. I mean, they're, they've got to be 60 degrees. It's just crazy. And unless you can get a ledge, a tiny little ledge trail or something to walk on, you're toast. I mean, you start sliding down this hill, you aren't going to stop until you get to the bottom. Okay, now Tubby's on point up ahead of me just to my left, and I mistakenly thought he was more to the right. Oh, he scared me. God, when, when Tubbs, Tubbs was right here behind this rock, when he popped his head up, he scared me, and I lifted my gun up before I shot. Scared me to death. We had several occasions where the birds got up pretty wild. I don't think this area gets a lot of pressure, but still, the number of birds around just makes them naturally pretty wild. There to go. That's a good boy, buddy. I know it. They're not playing fair, are they, bud? This one's in kind of a funky spot, and Tubbs has to hold it for quite a while because it takes me forever to get to him. And it never fails. Every time I start to slip and fall, that's when they get up. I tried to get away. I slipped right as it came up. <gasps> dead bird, Tubby, dead bird. Tubby's working on a, a blind retrieve on this one. I think he's right about where it hit the ground. I'm sure it didn't stop there. It probably went on down off that cliff. He got it. <sighs> there he is coming back. He had to go. You can't see the cliff face, but he had to go off this cliff face to pick it up. And he kept going to the edge and like sniffing and going, oh crap, it's down there. <laughs> yeah, good boy. Good boy. Good job, buddy. Good boy. That's good talk. Good boy. Yeah, that's good boy. Yeah, that's good job. That was a tough one, wasn't it, bud? Yeah, that was a tough one. All right, Lucy. Thanks, buddy. That was a tough one. Whew. Well, <laughs> it's never easy out here, but it just makes it that much more satisfying when you get one. It seems like it's been particularly tough this trip between the snow and sunny conditions that aren't great and uh, birds that kind of seem nervous. Anyways, I think you're just a little on edge and it's making the hunting a little tougher.
All right, I've made my way to another Tubbs point here, and at this stage I'm really close to them, so I'm kind of wondering where these birds are at. Okay. Well, he doesn't want to move, and his posture suggests that it might be right in front of him. Okay, it's not in front of him, so I turn around and check this little cliff face that's right behind me. I can't find anything, so I just turned the camera off. God, as soon as I turned the camera off, one came out from under this ledge here. Dead bird, Tubby, dead bird. Careful, buddy, careful, easy. Yep, dead bird. Good boy, buddy, good boy. Good dog, good boy. At least, a boy. Ooh, pretty. He's all fluffed up and and nice. Yeah, he wasn't in a big slobbery mouth too long. <laughs> all right. Well, it's a bit of a grind today, but we're getting it done, aren't we, buddy? So we had a pretty good day, but I was still feeling like it was a real challenge to get that good dog work that we always look for. So the next day I try another new spot and this is one of those rare occasions where I can actually park fairly close to where I think birds might be. And we actually get into them pretty quick. Here Riggs is on point up above me in the rocks. pretty jumpy. I mean, he was kind of close, but he wasn't putting pressure on him. He had locked up. Well, we get off to a kind of a rough start here. We have absolutely no wind whatsoever, so it's almost impossible for Riggs to get him pointed from any distance. And so we end up just putting up a bunch of birds. Riggs. Oop, easy, Riggs. Easy. Hey. Hey. And now just that little bit of noise I made seems to have put up every bird within about two or three hundred yards. F Once again, Riggs tries to get him pointed, but I think he's just a little too close. I can't begin to tell you how many times I fell on this trip. Between the snow now and the mud we get later, <laughs> it was a lot. If you look down the hill here, you'll see Riggs relocating on some birds. I didn't feel like I was in a very good position here on these birds, but I get a little bit of luck. We got him. Dead bird, Riggs. Dead bird. Good boy, buddy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, Gif. Good boy. Good job, buddy. We got one more to get, though. Dead bird, fetch. Dead bird. Oh. 
Oh, he, he didn't want to have to chase. Good boy, Riggs. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, Giff. Good boy. All right, well, we finally got some in the right position. Got a little bit of luck. Got a couple down. Man, it feels like we got to get a lot of luck these days. All right, I got a point signal a while back, and I've already made my way to him. He's just off to my left here. <laughs> Dead bird. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. It's actually a young bird. That's good boy. You had him locked down. I could tell by your face he was close. Another thing about hunting this terrain is your dogs have to be okay with holding point for a while. Because even when you're close by, it can take you a good while to get to them. Now I can tell Riggs isn't sure where the birds are, but he does a great job of waiting for me and then carefully and methodically tracking ahead to get him locked down. Careful, 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 Riggs, careful. Good grief. That one fell off a cliff. So it's gonna be fun getting that one. But at least we got one. My gosh, he did see it and he went and got it. Good boy, buddy. You the man, buddy. You the man. All right, good boy. <laughs> oh, you went all the way down there already? You must have marked it, buddy. Good job. Oh my gosh, I can't believe how fast he got that. I'm not kidding you. It is 150 feet straight down where that bird fell. He just went down there, grabbed it, ran back up here. Oh, that was great, absolutely great. He's figuring out that he needs to be really, really careful. Um, I think normally in these kind of, you know, like snowy, wet conditions, you know, they can send them from a long ways away and it's almost easy for them. But right now, for whatever reason, it is very difficult. I mean, all of my dogs have struggled a little bit, um, tubs included, and he's pointed everything there is on the planet. So it's just strangely difficult. And I, I'm not exactly sure what it is. I mean, I know the air's not moving, but it almost feels like more than that. I don't know if the fog has something to do with it or, you know, Sending conditions are a black box, and it's just hard to know. There's so many variables, but anyways, I'm just really proud of him that he was just so careful there. I mean, he knew he didn't have him, but he just waited for me to get here. It's exactly what I wanted him to do. It was great. Okay, I got Riggs pointing over to the left here, and I decide to swing around to the right, try to get down to or below the birds. Now I'm down to where I'm assuming I'm about even with the bird's elevation. Right here, Riggs. Good boy. Riggs. 
<laughs> good boy. Good boy, Riggs. Good boy. Yeah. Good boy. You got him. Just broke a wing. He tracked him down anyways. Good man. Good boy. Got him on point down there. It's way below me. So and I can't go straight down there. They'll just fly off since I get just tantalizingly close. So I think we're going to go out around this knob. Come in like that. I can't go that way. That way sucks because it's super steep and snowy. So I'm going to try going around this way. Now I'm down below rigs. About where I'm guessing the birds are. Now I double check my GPS just to make sure I'm at the right elevation. Oh, it's not quite going down. Oh, it's still, it dropped. He's dropping right there, dead. Dead bird. When I shoot, you'll see one bird kind of drop out of the group. Well, it regains its wings and then sails down the hill a good ways, then just dies in midair and falls. Damn it. I couldn't have dropped up here. That's Covey Huns. All right, so it fell Whew. right in line with the truck. So this bird fell a ways out there and Riggs couldn't see it fall. So instead of chasing after it right now, I decided to go ahead and hunt the rest of this hill and kind of work my way back down. Now Riggs is on again, Shit, I'm busted. but I'm feeling a little bit exposed as I approach. Super busted. So in this one I try to get down underneath the birds, but it seems like I overshoot it because the birds come up way uphill from me. Damn it! So sorry, buddy. <sighs> Shooting in this terrain, it just happens. I just never, I never get used to it. I never get used to the disappointment. I'm not worried about my body count. I'm worried about rewarding good work. It's not that big a deal. It's just, he's doing such a great job. You just want to reward him. Luckily, just a couple minutes later, Riggs gives me an easy one. Miss this one, you bastard. <laughs> oh, good boy, Riggs. Come here, buddy. Good boy. Good dog. You are the man, boy. <laughs> He's zapping him. Beautiful. Good job, buddy. Good job. Good. Now you might recall we still have some cleanup to do. Do you remember the hunt I told you we'd try to find? The man just found it, of course. You are the man, buddy. Good boy. Good boy, Riggs. Good job, buddy. Good boy. Give. Good job, buddy. You found him like you always do. <laughs> My goodness. You can't do it any better than that, bud. You just can't. Well, that pretty much puts the cherry on our day right there, buddy. That is a great way to end our day. Truck's right there. Good job, buddy. That was wonderful. It was a phenomenal day, and that could have been twice as many if I would have shot with this <laughs> um, But Riggs over here just did beautiful, beautiful work. I couldn't ask more of a dog, let alone a dog that isn't even two years old yet. Um, he took what was some relatively tough conditions today, just no wind. Birds were kind of spooky, especially at first. They had big coveys, so they had lots of eyes on them. 
Um, and he just uh, quickly adjusted, got very careful, very cautious, and then continued his amazing dead bird work. It's just been beautiful to watch. So I'm just super, super proud of him. Just a fun, fun day. Well, days like that make all the challenges and difficulties that we face on a trip like this totally worth it. I mean, come on. If trucker hunting was easy, it wouldn't be any fun. If you'd like more content, you ought to check out my Patreon page where I post videos on other subjects like gear, truck camping, dog training, and anything else we can think of that might be helpful for the traveling bird hunter. You can find it at patreon.com backslash Eric Forrester or just click the link in the description. What's up guys? Welcome to Mudfest 2024. <laughs> uh, got done early today and so I had a couple things I wanted to talk to you about. Um, mainly getting your dog ready for a trip. The first thing you think of when you think about getting a dog ready for a trip would be conditioning and running them and all that sort of stuff. But um, the one that I think is probably most important is 